Hey everyone, uh, this is Mr. Sal. Uh, I'm remaking this video, so hopefully it helps you guys out. It's uh, what would be the formula for finding the side length of a cube given the volume. Well, uh, we got to look at the formula for the volume of a cube specifically. Now, the unique thing about a cube is that all the side lengths are the same. So if we drew a cube like this right here, then uh, all the side lengths would be the same. So this side length is this one, and it's the same as the depth. Now, if it were just a rectangular prism with length, width, and height, then you just multiply the length, width, and height, and you would have the volume. But that's the unique thing about a cube like this, is that the side lengths are all the same. So if you wanted the volume, that's not the question we're looking at, but if you did want it, you would take the side length and multiply it by itself three times. Now, you could write this as the side length to the power of three. Now, what we really want, though, is just the side length. So in order to figure out the side length, we're going to take the cube root of that s to the power of 3. But just like with regular equations, whatever you do to one side with the root, you must do to the other side as well. So if you wanted the side length but were given the volume, you would have to take the cube root of that volume. So let me give you a quick example right here. So if I told you the volume of a cube was 125 cubic meters, then if you wanted to find the side length, you would take that same 125 cubic meters, and in order to figure out the side length, because right now it's the side length cubed, you would have to take the cube root of these. All right, so that would give you the actual side length. And in this case, that's going to equal 5. And to be consistent, we'll label that, all right? So the formula, the formula for finding the side length of a cube when given the volume, right, there's our volume, is you're going to take that cube root, and you can use any calculator to do that. But this is the formula for finding the volume, I'm sorry, the side length of a cube if you started with the volume. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that helped you out. If it did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. If it didn't, leave a comment anyways. Let me know how I can improve. Talk to you guys later.